They said, I do, to each other and to helping hundreds of sick people to have the chance to live and done all on their wedding day. Meet the generous and unique DC couple who danced cheek to cheek and swabbed cheek by cheek for bone marrow donors. Stephanie Ramirez has the story you'll see only on Nine. Staring at his bride from day one, Bill Beagle knew it was a match. But the Institute for Justice says about 3,000 people die each year because they can't find their match. So instead of wedding gifts, the couple traded in that registry for another. Make a contribution, enter your email, help make the world a better place. You didn't want one wedding gift? Not one wedding gift, nothing. Our wedding gift is the gift of life. Our wedding registry is a bone marrow registry. As the wedding festivities and ceremony went on, is this good? right next to it all was a table for the gift of life bone marrow registry. Beagle is the group's board chairman. The organization runs the registry to help those fighting leukemia, lymphoma, and other types of blood cancers find their life-saving bone marrow match. So looking for a matching donor was like looking for a needle in a haystack. That's how it all started for the groom, who says some 20 years ago, he personally traveled to Russia and tested more than 500 people trying to find his friend, Jay Feinberg's match. So it just takes literally two minutes of your time. Feinberg ended up founding the gift of life. I'm told there's some 300 guests at today's wedding. If they haven't done something like a cheek swap before, that means there could be some 300 people added to the bone marrow registry. The need's huge, especially in underserved communities. Pacific Islanders, African Americans. When was the last time you did this at a wedding? At a wedding? Never. This is a first. <laughs> we hope to save many, many lives. At the Washington Hebrew Congregation, Stephanie Ramirez, W, USA 9. The Seattle Cancer Care Alliance says a bone marrow transplant is among the greatest success stories in cancer treatment. The couple also decided to do this for Good Deeds Day today, the International Day of Community Service that reportedly began in Israel 10 years ago.